Hi, this is Steve Wagner, and this is a brief presentation on the Vroom Yetin model of leadership decision making. At the heart of this model is the question how much should a leader involve others in making decisions? Leaders are faced with many decisions, and there's always the question how much should I involve my team in these decisions? And the great thing about the Room Yet and Decision Making Model is that it is a tool that has been validated by research that can help you as a leader determine how much you should get other people involved in the decision making process. One thing that this model points out is that there is a whole range of options for involving other people in the decision making process. At the lowest level is the autocratic decision. This is where a leader makes a decision by him or herself, just using the information that is available to that leader. With an autocratic two decision, a leader might obtain information from subordinates and then make the decision alone. Here it's not saying I'm asking for the subordinate's opinion. I'm just saying, please give me information on that and information on this. And we may not even inform the subordinates about the decision that is being made. We're just seeking information that's relevant to that decision. In a consultative decision, a leader shares the problem with relevant subordinates and gets their ideas and input individually, but makes the decision alone. Okay, so here we're involving subordinates a little bit more. We're telling them about the problem. We are just reaching out to relevant subordinates and getting their input, but we're doing that in an individual fashion and then going back and making the decision by uh, ourselves as leaders. In a consultative two decision, the leader shares the problem with subordinates as a group, perhaps wanting to brainstorm or, or to get some dialogue going, gets their collective input, but again says, I appreciate your input, the decision does rest with me. And then finally, there's a group decision. This is what we would think of as a democratic decision. The leader shares the problem with the subordinates as a group, and together they make the decision through the process of consensus. So there's a number of factors that the Vroom Yetin model looks at uh, to determine how much other people should be involved in a decision. Is a high quality decision required? Does the leader have enough information for a high quality decision? Is the problem structured? Is acceptance of subordinates important for effective implementation? Will the subordinates accept the decision if the leader makes it alone? Do subordinates share the organization's goals? Is the preferred solution likely to cause conflict amongst subordinates? You'll see many different forms of the decision-making model. Uh, usually it's a decision tree that you'll see in a textbook. I have found this nice website, and this uh, website asks you to state your problem and answer a series of questions. And so you can see, again, these are the questions that we went over, and we might answer them. Um, we'll say, how important is the technical quality of this decision? It's, it's high. It's important. Is it, how important is the subordinate commitment to the decision? Let's say that's really high. That's important. Do we have enough information to make this uh, high-quality decision? No, let's say we don't. Is it a well-structured problem? Um, no, let's say it's not. If you were to make a decision by yourself, would others be committed to the decision? Say yes, they would. And here, the computer is telling us that we should use a consultative decision. I just think that is a, a, a neat way of looking at this. 
and uh, I will put this website up uh, on the Blackboard site so you can access it yourself and maybe put it in your favorites file. Now there are a couple of other considerations that we should make uh, that aren't often talked about in this room yet and model. One is there may be other questions that are important to ask in terms of involving others. One is how much time do we need to make this decision? Do we have to make a decision quickly? And if there is time urgency, then we're probably going to take a more autocratic approach. We also have to consider the degree to which employee development is important. Are, do we need to develop the capacity of others to process information and to make similar types of decisions? And if the answer to that is yes, then we should uh, have a more participative uh, approach to the decision making. Here's the original citation from Room Yetin. Uh, I always encourage you to go out and, and read the original source material. And uh, I'm sure you can find that in the library or for, through Interlibrary Loan. Thank you.